and uh, more to come, especially once we start exploring those caverns. For now, we'll have these walls up for the, uh, undoubtedly we will be attacked eventually by hordes of goblins. And when they do attack, we have something in store for them. An indomitable fortress bristling with fortifications and marksman dwarves ready to rain death down upon our foes with uncanny dwarven precision. And the bodies will pile up outside our fortress. They will pile up to the sky. And block out the sun. I'm just kind of guesstimating where our future entrance is going to be. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to change some things around the layout. Let's put a wall there like this. All right. Yeah, I know what I want to do. See where I'm going at here, guys? Kind of stunty, huh? Maybe we'll expand the wall out across the river here. Yeah. And, uh, I'll move that. I'll put it somewhere else for now. So, let's go ahead and move that fishery here. In the back. Towards the back. Building everything out of nice because we have so much of it. It's everywhere. This whole place is nice. What a nice place we have. So, to give some of you guys an idea of what I'll be doing in the future, think this. That's what I'll be doing. And we can make a nice little well out of this uh, brook for dwarves to come out and drink from. And then we'll just make a whole extended fortified bailey and moat system. It's going to be great. Yes, yes it will. And uh, one more thing. For now, Just like so, and uh, let's see here. Bridge. Yeah, bridge. Yes. Huge bridge. And then we'll test it out once it's done. And we're gonna make this out of microlene. I want microlene. Give us microlene. And while they're at that, while they're doing that, I will uh, place the. Uh, I suppose I'll place the latch up here. I'll put it by the stairs here. So, Migrants. We have more migrants, guys. Already. Yep. I'll 
put the lever here for now. And let's check out these migrants. Come on in, migrants. Boy, do we have work for you, let me tell you. We have a lot of work for you. Oh yeah. And that's a lot of migrants, guys. A whole lot of migrants. Jesus. Look at that, they just keep coming. We might have just doubled our population. That's more migrants than we have room for. <laughs> so we were at 19. And we just got 22 more dwarfs. No children. That's good. We don't need children. Um, excellent. Uh, we have quite a bit of uh, fortress expanding that needs to get done now. Um, for now, what I'm going to do is uh, build a uh, build a large room to house uh, new dwarves. And we'll place a ton of new beds in there, probably about 10 or so, 10 or 20. And uh, that should hold uh, enough dwarves for the future. All right, so um, I'm going to pause it here and uh, start making some new rooms and uh, plan that dormitory for us. All right. All right, I'm back. Okay, everybody, uh, I set all the new migrants to uh, be masons. So we'll quickly build our fortifications. No time to spare. We need this wall up and running as fast as possible. It looks like our our bridge is finally built. So once the lever is also built, we'll go ahead and connect that together. Wow, those doors work fast. When you get these migration waves, take advantage of them. Uh, that's what I do. Put them to work. ASAP. Look at this. We've got 41 doors. Um, after they're done building all these fortifications, a lot of these people, the uh, the ones that aren't. Uh, great craftsmen are going to wind up finding themselves drafted into the military, which isn't a bad deal, but it definitely is more dangerous. So look at this. It's almost completed. Didn't take them long at all. <laughs> and yeah, I'll build double walls around this place as well. But we'll get to that. Okay, pause it here. Alright, and we're going to link it to the bridge. Like so. And now we'll have a working bridge. Hopefully everybody's done grabbing stuff from outside. And we could raise the bridge or something of that nature. Should the goblins come, we will be prepared. I'm going to build another trade depot. This time it's going to be down here in the corner for now. Um, away from... Uh, the gate. And uh, we're going to make it out of orthoclase. It's bright yellow. I think. 
Uh, let's see here. And then we'll go ahead and remove this construction. And voila, look at that. It looks like we have another dog who we're going to train. Yeah, train war animals when the time is right. And uh, do we have any war animals here? As of now, we do not, but we have several puppies that are going to be growing up. And excellent. All these animals in the cage. Oh. I have one thing I need to do. Set up a stockpile for animals. All animals in cages. Actually, stockpile for animals in cages will be moved into here for now. And then all those beds. We'll mine this out further. Cancel that designation. That's another bed. Bed, 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 beds, we got beds, we got beds, and we have tons more rooms for all these migrants that just hit us. Man, there's so many of these guys. Try to take care of them as best as possible. As fast as possible. That's my advice. Because once they're situated... I mean, uh... Your fortress is going to grow relatively fast. But not all the time. So... It'll grow and it'll shrink, depending on how well we do. So having a little extra space doesn't hurt. Does it? And uh, here's our barn. Yeah, so we'll start placing all these ropes that we've been making. For now, this will go relatively fast. And those will be placed while our dwarves go on their merry way and do this.